Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Cracking Mill Podcast, now available on Spotify Woo! and all other major podcast streaming platforms. Ooh. You know what, man? What? I got some beef with you that I want to fucking sort out. Yeah? What kind of beef? Is it silver beef? Is it other kind of beef? What kind of beef? It's actually- It's Judge Judy Shineland's beef. Yeah. Oh. You're in my courtroom. Oh. Fuck. This is Judge Judy. 30-year-old Gaylord, Elias DeWedger, is being sued by his ex-lover, Connor McBuff, for not getting on the beers. He's gay. All right, you big bitches. The reason you boys are here today is because you've been getting on the beers, and you've been stealing the beers. (laughs) Yeah. What do you have to say to that, defendant? Yeah, g'day, it's me, Defendant Dylan, and, um, I... Are you the lawyer of Connor? My client, um, does like to have a couple of drinks here and there, but only a couple with dinner, preferably steak or sometimes slow-cooked lamb. Shut up! Do not speak for my client, offendant! Order, 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 Sorry, order. order. Sorry, it's have... just that the offendant, offendant... Offend- Assailant? It's just that the fuckhead across the room- Fair enough. Is running his fucking mouth in my opening statement! Order! Order! Uh, all I was gonna say before that <laughs> cunt interrupted me- <laughs> I'll allow it. Thank you. <laughs> is it a bigger dog move to have your mate come over, get on the beers with you, yeah? And then he says, nah, nah, I'm not drinking on the Dezo, on the Dezo. But you know what he does? He fucking takes six of them home to have at home. Your Honor, those beers were to be had in the company of companions. And this fucking cunt took them home to have while he was playing Minecraft. Order. Assailant Elias here has, has come to the house, the gathering, yeah. upon an invitation. Yeah. And and he's and he's um gone, guys. I'm the designated driver. I cannot be on the beers. He was only driving Order. himself, Your Honor. Order. No one else is in the car. It's fucking bullshit. Order. Sorry, I Your believe Honor. that's allowed by law. You can drive your own car in just yourself in the car. But who's he? The designated Order. driver. Order. Order. No one else is there. Order. Would you like to um, provide your opening statement, or perhaps you have a lawyer, or would you like to self-represent? Uh, for the for Don't the. Say thing, wait, mate. no, I need to just. <laughs> There's this one thing I need to say. One thing I need to say. No, no, no. Look, those... Shh, shh. It's okay. me, Frank, can your just... lawyer. There's my card. Uh, my name's Frank, your wait, lawyer. Wait, wait, it's a I button. Just, can I just no, talk no. to you for a second? Uh, can I talk to, uh, can my, I talk um, to my lawyer? Thank you, thank you. Look, thank I've you. got all the evidence right here, mate. Yeah. We've got everything to get you off. We're not going to say a word. Just <laughs> let me talk, all right? All right, let me just come to the stand. Do you mind? Yes, Frank, your lawyer. Um, firstly, I just want to say that on the night of these beers stolen, this could not have been a lie because he was, in fact, with these tickets right here, as you can see and check, Yep. At Furcon 2020. Furcon 2020. In, he was in the YIF boot, booth. 13 men okay. can confirm that he was there. 13 um, men. 13 men can, can confirm. What's can confirm. Furcon? Can you please clarify? Um, by research, it looks like it's uh, multiple men dressed as their f- first owners, which are also known, uh, li- they're like fursuits, <laughs> and they have wild sex. Right, fursuits as in like, a, yeah, like, 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 like an fur animal. coats. It's like a culture, I believe. So we, ah, this is in the- Like uh, a dog. You dress well, like a he's dog. He's covered under the religious laws as it is his religion and culture. So. Frank, your lawyer, I have one question. Yes. What's a YIF um, room? Uh, what happens in a YIF room? And why yeah. were there 13 men there? We have a signed copy that he did say he had given multiple hand jobs to 13 men dressed <laughs> 13 men dressed as their first owners. It looks like some sort of religious act. In the YIF room. In the YIF room. Is that room. perhaps a, a place of prayer? <laughs> <laughs> what what what's their what's their uh, 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 religious they're dressed name? Dressed in um, fur, f- uh, religious garb, which is uh, dressed as uh, a, a furry. Furry. A furry. Furry. And they are jerking each other off, and as some sort of um, as Elias, who is innocent, um, can prove his innocence by confirming that he was at Furcon 2020. Furcon. So the only so, way that Elias would be guilty here is if he is if he was which, not there's at so much Furcon 2020. Evidence of photos and polar here. Have a look. Your Honor, I object uh, to my Order. lawyers. Order! <laughs> did I ask? No, but I just wanted to- Order! I did not ask Elias DeWedger. You will have your chance to speak in a moment. I Thank need you. to peruse the evidence. <laughs> I've seen everything I need to see. Elias. Yes, Your Honor. Any closing words? Your Honor, 
I would just like to interject and say, clearly Elias is just full of shit. I think he's come to the party, and if I'm being honest, he was there and took the beers. Because I do recall him saying to my client, let's get it on, let's get it on, let's get it on at fucking Furcon. Your this, Honor, is, this is what Elias said. This is what Elias said, and with this information coming to light, I actually think we can get him for both. Mm. One, for theft mm -hmm. of a good time. And the beers. Those beers were for beer pong, you fucking pig! Order. Your Honor, we have some uh, new damning evidence. Uh, yes. Uh, we're here today, as Connor has said, the, the uh, beers were, were, have been drunken or have been consumed, mm. but this is not the fact, as I've just found out, but they are inside the 13 men, thus have not been consumed yet. We should throw this case out now. The, the whole bottles. Every bottle is up inside the 13 Can men. Can we- Order. Your Honor, I will try and recall, but I need to get- I need to get back into the zone that I was in when I was at Furcon, so if you can just give me a moment. Do we all need to yiff for you? Please, that would uh, that would help yiff, drastically. Yiff, 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 yiff. It was the night of the 17th at Furcon 2020. There were 13 men in the room around me. I was scared but excited. I grabbed all the beer bottles and one by one I put them in each of their assholes. This is Eliza's conscious speaking, by the way. My nose, my pecker nose, my woodpecker nose <laughs> launched into the anus of each of those men and cracked open the bottle, the bottom of the beer bottle, leaking the contents into my mouth. <laughs> one by one, I popped each one, a crack, a single crack, which let out, let out some of the beer. I just want to say that I, I, I can sense that um, at the time Elias said, yiffy, yiffy, I've got a stiffy. <laughs> <laughs> yiffy, yiffy. I have a big stiffy. <laughs> Um, sorry, I don't think the- I don't You're think on we a- got that on record. <clears throat> order, it. order, please louder for the, uh, <laughs> recording devices in the courtroom. Yiffy, yiffy, I have a big stiffy. Do you, um, consent to your client, uh, proceeding? Uh, you've put yourself under yiff oath. You came in. We should have seen it coming. You are under oath. Connor swore on the Bible. You swore on a, uh, season four to five of My Little Pony. Um, <laughs> That's so the cultural you, book the of- Yeah, so under, cultural text. So under oath, you must- I've heard everything that I need to hear to make <laughs> my decision, but I would like to now hear from uh, every party present. Um, that's Connor, defendant uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Dylan, uh, Frank here, lawyer, and then finally Elias. Uh, I, I would like to hear the closing statements in that order. Your Honor, I've spent a lot of time thinking about what I would like to say to Elias after such a betrayal, and I think I've summed it up. <laughs> defendant Dylan. Yeah. Would you now, please? I'm going to be honest with you, man. This is pretty fucked. You know, like you go to a party and it's... You it's, think you know a it's guy. It's meant to be chill vibes. Who goes to a fucking party? Let's just clarify as well. This was a private event on Facebook. And due to lockdown restrictions, it's quite hard to get people around at the moment. So you've got your best mates around. And we've got communal beers that everyone's thrown in some dollars for. 48 pack carton of 4X gold. And this fuckhead comes in, says he's a designated... No one's in the car, your honour. No one's in the car with him. Who's he driving around? Who's designated him as the driver if no one's in the car? He could have got an Uber. It's 12.50 from his place. It's only 12.50, your honor, and an Uber. Thank you, Defender Dylan. Uh, Connor's house is located 50 meters within a school zone. And everyone knows Elias couldn't have been at the party because that would be against his parole. Uh, it says in his OC character sheet, he doesn't like beer. He likes Sody Wody. Sorry, OC? Yeah, his original character creator sheet. All, all furries have one. Mm. And it says he likes orange sody wodies and not beer. So why wouldn't he have taken that? <clears throat> Interesting. That's mm. all. I, that's all I have to say. Thank you for your uh, for uh, your closing statement there, um, Frankie Lawyer. Um, finally, Elias Dewedger, um, the uh, assailant here, who's actually probably the defending party. But fuck you. Could you please provide us with your uh, closing statement, and I will make my decision on okay. your verdict. I can, Your Honour. I just wanted to say to everyone. <coughs> Is it? Is it? A, <laughs> sorry, I just excuse me. I'm not sure if this is Connor or Defendant Dylan, so I can't bring them up on this. Is it illegal to have a good time? I'm sorry, this is just really rude. I, is it illegal to have a good time? 
Excuse me, um, Elias Dwedger, there are no questions allowed in closing statements. It's a statement, it's not a question. Statement, you dumbass. Yeah, statement. it's not illegal to have a good time. That's my closing statement. Okay, um, I've uh, I've considered. Um, I'm not gonna, I know, I've, I've got, deliberated. I'm trying to. Hey! Order! Judge Judy Shineland is speaking, and you're running your fucking mouth. How about you stop drinking Connor's beers? How about you stop talking over Judge Judy Shineland? And how about you stop fucking other men in fursuits? How about you just learn Thank to relax you, and put a beer up your Sorry, ass your and let me suck it out of you? <laughs> Thank uh, you, Your Honor. A plaintiff's like the security guard, dude. No, plaintiff is what's bailiff. The, what's the plaint- bailiff? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, bailiff. No worries, Your Honor. <laughs> so, um, Elias, uh, I have to uh, provide you with a guilty verdict today, and you'll be going away into the slammer for about um, 15 years. You know what? I had a change of heart. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Connor, you're going into the slammer for 15 years. Oh, come on. He's already given me a fucking stomach ulcer. Thank you for watching the Cracker Whip podcast today. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, learning how a courtroom works. Yeah. Um, this is how we make a lot of our decisions on set. Go to Patreon and vote on our shit so we can make a Patreon podcast just for you. That's what mm. we do. All the patrons are a bunch of furries that are um, beer bottles. getting pouring beer from their butts into Elias' mouth. <laughs>